several people are said to have been killed and injured in the blast, which happened as members of the new Yemeni government arrived. Mohammed al Atab is joining us now on the phone from Sana'a. What more do we know about this attack, Mohammed? Yes, uh, with the arrival of the new formed government to Aden's efforts, uh, there, there, there were uh, powerful explosions uh, have been heard in, in the city of Aden. Uh, 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 according to some sources, that uh, the number of casualties or also the whole, how many people have been killed and injured uh, have not yet, yet been uh, confirmed. Uh, but this is, uh, is considered, according to observers, as a setback to do, uh, to Riyadh's agreement that has been signed by uh, parties, the uh, transitional, uh, the Southern Transitional Council, and also the uh, Yemeni government. Uh, many uh, people hope that this. Uh, Agreement would be implemented in order to uh, to put an end to the uh, to the political disagreement between uh, both sides. Mohammed, I know it's very early into this incident, but the obvious question is: do, Is there any speculation about who might have caused it? Uh, no, nobody, nobody knows who who's, who's behind such explosions. And uh, some some fingers could point to the uh, United Arab Emirates uh, told there because the, there are people who do not move on to the uh, uh, the government and also the uh, Southern Transitional Council to to agree on a, a united government. Uh, there are some interests for both parties, especially for the uh, tools, uh, as according to the observers, not not to make this uh, agreement a success. There, is going to be, there are going to be questions, aren't there, Mohammed, about the level of safety um, in uh, Yemen generally, but in Aden particularly, given the fact that this was supposed to be the day that the new government was setting up shop there, if you like. There are going to be questions about how safe it can be in Aden. Yes, uh, the, the, many hope that the, the, the agreement would be uh, implemented and that the, uh, the president is expected uh, to arrive to Aden uh, by the, uh, on the first day of this, uh, the coming year, 2021. These explosions, these explosions and also confrontations in there uh, could, uh, uh, could uh, make this uh, agreement, uh, could cause a setback. To uh, but many hope uh, the, the, the would... Uh, resolve this issue and also contain the current confrontations in order to pave a way for the uh, new government to come. Uh, in many occasions, the government uh, tried to, uh, to go to Aden and, and to start the go governance there. But unfortunately, uh, we have uh, met many setbacks. This is, the, this is maybe the fourth or the fifth time that the government tries to, to reach Aden. Mohammed, thank you very much indeed. I know we're going to be checking in with you as this story develops, but for now, Mohammed Al-Atab talking to us on the phone from Sana'a. Thank you very much indeed.